Hello, how are you? Hey, hey, how are you doing? Who is this? Would somebody get this girl out of my, like, Twitter wall and get <laughs> Oh, hey, wait a minute. That, that's me blowing up your Twitter. I'm, you know, I am sorry about that, Portman. I just want to thank you very much for being kind enough about it. Like, I don't know. Thanks, I guess. You know, like, uh, I don't know. Man, I, I really hope everything's going all right on your end. People are nuts. They don't notice big picture things. They move along real quick. But then, wait a minute. There's a lot wrong with a lot of stuff. So, at any rate, I'll do a little podcast. Uh, I don't know. Check in. I, uh, I don't know. I find myself not up to much today. So, I figured, you know what? Might as well say hi to the Twitter community. Uh, amongst all these nuts. Putin clearly tried it. I think they're on, like, take four of, like, a ceasefire, in quotes. Uh, and then, like, the people, like, start to get ready to leave the cities that are being just decimated because that's his way of fighting now that the Ukrainians, like, were stronger than he thought. And so, like, then he starts shooting them, you know, as they come out. That's not actually a ceasefire. See, that's really mean. And uh, you should keep your word when you say ceasefire uh, with civilians because some of these cities, you're going to have real problems on your hand with respect to if water's out and power for that long and hospitals are down and things, uh, they can't endure for very long. You have to let them leave. I mean, what are you trying to prove? Like, really? Uh, I don't know. So I find the whole thing unfortunate. Um, and, uh, I don't know, but you can easily see they're going to script it all the way. They're going to script it. They'll forget about this or that. And like, I don't know, people should be on guard about it because I don't know. I seem to point out we could just, we could do a little better in Portman, just like everybody. We could, you know, people could just come to understand each other. Like they, I don't know. They vilify people over this or that. Like, my beef was never about, like, I want to be the next famous guy. Wait a minute. I got, like, wait a minute. I got, like, all this shit happened that I put my life a little out there on Facebook. And then, like, even when cops came and, like, they at least allowed me to see that 500 views over the course of, like, the, like, week I was gone. But yet they forbid any comments and I seem to point out, hey, wait a minute. And then even on the instant messenger, as people would reach out, they'd like kick them off instant messenger, like permanently if they mentioned this or that. And then I'd take screenshots and then maybe they'd come back later. And all this bizarre things over like, no, I'm just, no, I am just some stupid editor guy. Like, I'm not trying to, wait a minute. There were things that, uh, unfortunately, like, I don't know, with certain clubs of wealth and taste that if they could just learn to please not do that to your fellow American, if they could just let go of two-faced club or whatever you would like to call, like, elite living at the expense of, like, it's really mean. Some of us seem to have, like, know about it and, like, you know, zoop, no, no one, nothing, nada. That's a lot different than, like, wait a minute. You have every right to try and stick up for yourself. And you notice, like, with other people, I mean, it's overtly rigged. When you're trying to rig what, how you want people to, like, what's cool, what's not, with the Google counts and the things and the that, over the course and trajectory of its, like, 15 years of really existing in this country. And, like, I don't know. You, I don't know. There's a lot of stuff. And so... I sure hope that, I mean, people are so selfish, they can't, they can't, they can't let go of certain things in the past or say, yeah, right, we did do that or we were aware of that. We don't do it anymore. We certainly wouldn't tell the youth, you're not allowed to ever talk about this or that on like TV while like having to, I mean, that's not how you raise, that's not free speech. And they do do that with more than one thing these days. And it's unfortunate. And if you could just... Figure out how to not live, I don't know, they build the house of cards on, like, lies or whatever, right? Or something. Like, they just, one lie on top of another, can't really endure. I mean, these people want to sow, like, hatred 
you ask any Democrat or any Republican, no matter what, like, part of their response is going to be, like, and that's why I really hate, like, people like that or, like, who espouse that. And, you know, they can't separate some political, like, I don't know, it's become so ingrained that they, like, eh. So if you speak out at all against, like, all of them or, like, any of that, like, stuff, they the one thing they do agree is, no, you're out. You don't. You don't get a say. You can't point that. Wait a minute. I mean, they don't like that. Whenever they do, like, it's pretty overt that, like, you know, I don't know. Some of us try to be honest from our point of view, even with weird, like, experiences and all the... Well, I don't care. Wait a minute. I'm more worried about... To look at this thing with Putin. I think Z is, like, uh, in cahoots with, like, you know, V is in cahoots with, like, you know, G and, like, you know, his G and his chakra money G, you know, right? And the 33 and the crap. And that's what you really got to be on the lookout for because these nuts like to use, you know, all the opportunities to stay in power and to take rights away. And liberals used to be on guard for such things. And I notice they're not anymore. And it's sad. And I mean, if you want to make social justice and inroads, by all means, d wait a minute. Some of us, like, I saw a sad thing uh, with Trevor Noah that he that they did. Uh, and I don't always agree. I mean, he's a little, he is kind of divisive and kind of one note compared to the other guy. But I'll fully applaud him with any time it's applicable. I mean, he showed these clips of, like, these European reporters and they're trying to be delicate about, yeah, but this one's in Europe. I mean, this should matter more. I mean, it's not like you would expect it in, like, not-so-well-spoken countries or whatever. You know what I mean? Like, whatever they say. And it, it is very, like, I mean, like, that's Europe. Yeah, I mean, like, you, you could even, I mean, some of us sadly even observe the fact that they, they say the American is so racist, yet it's these soccer hooligans in Europe who, like, throw bananas at, like, African-American players or any any black player. Uh, even, I mean, it's ridiculous. If anyone tried that at an American stadium, they'd get pummeled. That they're, uh, but yet, those are the socialist countries that get the pass because they like their system of uh, economy. You know what I mean? Like, the state gets everything, basically. But maybe free health care. <laughs> I, I don't know, like, it, it's a big country, it's very, like, there are things I do like and don't like about any state, let alone the, like, federal laws, <clears throat> but I do like states' rights in general, but I mean, here in Florida, they just passed, like, the abortion, like, is, like, after 15 weeks, you you gotta go to a different state, that seems absurd to me, it should be 25, some could argue 30, uh, but, like, it should be, in my opinion, but yet, I'm not in governance, and I can't totally, I mean, like, I don't know. I don't, I don't agree with that particular law because I'm liberal, because I understand. My point of view gets shunned on all the sides because I say there should be a cap at, like, 25, 30, for certain, in my opinion. But, like, I don't know. These people will kill each other over such things. I mean, they just hate each other. They couldn't work together on any issue uh, now it does seem like you're going to need to produce some oil in the short term, even in terms of like, you know, the whole thing is kind of about oil in a way, because like, I don't know, they found oil right where Crimea like was. And so then he decided at that point in like certain cues that they were wanting to westernize more in Ukraine that, uh, you know, in response to ousting the one president or whatever, he just, like, sent troops in and took over uh, Crimea because traditionally it was part of Russia and it was gifted under the Soviet Union when it didn't really matter what side, whatever it is. But wait a minute, that was a self sovereign Now he's asking for two more chunks or he's going to keep killing. And But then he was also, so there were, there's, I don't know, the goalpost seems to keep be changing. He won't call a real ceasefire. And people are using it. I don't know. We go, I don't know. It's not good. And then there's China about it. And like, yeah, what's your problem? Because they're, they're, I don't know. You can't even vote with the rest of the world. You got to like abstain from voting. Yes or no on whether you agree with what Russia did with Ukraine was wrong. That seems weird. 
But again, like, I don't know, people are starting to posture and don't, like, be fooled with, like, I don't know, you really do have to make your decision. And if you really care about, like, the country proper, then everybody, you can't, we can't be sneaking. And you can't be mean to people of certain people for no reason whatsoever just to laugh at it in douchebaggery club, whether me or anyone else. And I do seem to understand, like, I don't know, it's something of a burden to understand. Like, I'm not at a left field with, like, such things. They like the wiki club. You know what I mean? <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know how else to say it. Like, I wish, I wish people could let go of being, like, you gotta, like, get over on your neighbor without cause. Because that makes you, if you can keep the fink rent, you can get the stuff. And that's all there is to it. And blah, 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 blah. And on mass? Wait a minute. You gotta, you gotta stop. It's got train wreck written all over it in long run. And terrible, like, hey, the atheists may not believe in karma, but they might understand, like, these people will have it coming. And no one will feel badly. Why don't you do yourself a favor in this country and just plunder mightily in good faith? And anything you need to say to each other, why don't you just say it logically? I mean, there's so much common ground you could have between the liberal and the conservative. The one who's definitely going to vote Biden and definitely going to vote Trump could have stuff in common and be seen having some amount of agreement and fellowship and normalizing we don't hate each other just because that in this country ever again. But they don't do that. They won't do that. If they do that, it's for something fake. I don't know. They like can't quite... Like, get it to a point where they want to be able to control this stuff. And to say, like, we're, you know, part of a club of wealth and tanks. We know, I don't know. There are enough nuts who did that. And they like the cell phones and they read this stuff and they beep the horn. Yeah. We don't need that. We don't want, I mean, stuff's already getting crazy. You look at inflation now. And if we do impose that ban on oil, which at this point, one would assume we should. I mean, how can you be buying oil from them? But yet that's going to hike up prices to, I mean, $7, not out of the question at this rate. Uh, so who the heck knows? Uh, there's plenty of food. We could just keep throwing at each other to make cheap political points. There's plenty of stuff you could do if you actually compromise wisely. But they don't do that. They like bribe everybody and that's their compromise. Uh, in these sorts of instances and they fund everything and they do this stuff and I don't know it's uh, it's ironic don't you think and then like even when you see they have the house and they do have the senate because Kamala's the tiebreaker what of anything that was so important during the last year or four years I mean what of the DACA people what of certain things? They don't even bring, they can't, they can't even, I mean, you see, like, maybe later with the stuff. They do the exact same thing. I feel, and then, like, it's inconvenient to ask questions about, well, it's still very dysfunctional on the border. And what of some of these people? How do you even know they're all right? Wait a minute. Like, uh, they, it's, they, everything's fine. Well, like, they immediately on a dime. And vice versa. The Republicans, then they care some. I mean, they just switch. And it seems to me disingenuous. And so I tried to say, uh, maybe, I don't know, maybe there's a way for people to understand each other a little bit better. And you can't put up with, like, what, I mean, how disingenuous on, like, I don't know, putting up with certain things that you know about social media Ely Elysium Living Club. And I mean, like, I, I don't know. It just seems like you can't. It can't endure like that, all right, with your cool, like, social scorecard algorithm or whatever. Why would you do that to begin with? Let alone, like, any time there's certain, like, dark web stuff that, like, you know, in order to do the right thing here, you'd have to mention, like, a bigger picture story about, like, bad stuff, and that's a can of worms, and, you know, you can't, you know, you can't, you know, you don't want to do that, you know, all the, all the good boogly boo or whatever. I mean, I'm telling you. You would find that there'd be plenty that people could just come to understand each other and not, at least in this country, we can have peace because nothing works. 
You certainly you see you could never do nuclear power unless you have a stable country that can defend itself from such a thing. How could Putin, oh, I mean, like, of all things, you're going to shoot at that whatsoever? Let alone, I mean, why? I mean, now you're even saying you just want those two little chunks and you'll leave? Then what are you, why are you shooting all of the civilian targets just to prove, like, we won that battle and they had to clear out and we controlled the territory for a while? But, I mean, A, that's their home. B, like, this is your neighbors. Stop. Like, uh, I mean, my God, I don't know. I, I don't know what to say about certain things. I don't know. I have not wisdom. It's easy for me to say, just give them those two chunks and Crimea and, like, sign it away and live in peace. But the, he wants other stuff, too, because how can you live in peace then? Can you join the union or what? I won't let you. I mean, there's things about it that are highly unfair that at this rate, like, you know, I don't know. And you sure should be pressuring China to do a little bit more to pressure Russia themselves. So that way they're totally isolated and understand, like, we really shouldn't be killing these people for no reason at this point. But I don't know. I don't have much words of wisdom in the face of, like, a war, other than to, like, there is, there is certain things in this country where, with the information war, I mean, you know, if you know all this stuff about how uh, cool, like, easy life, and you don't tell them, and then you don't know, but I even understand it's like to do sport out of it with certain, like, programming that, like, I don't know. I don't want to bother, but I, I beg for us to please, like, Stop with the secret, dark, living, twisted living and just come clean, bugaloo. I mean, who better than the very people who might be caught up in it to spend the rest of their lives in good faith talking about certain things on TV? Whatever they might be that the damn government said, we don't want, we can't talk about that. Hey, wait a minute. That's illegal by law for you to do. And so some of us get in trouble because, uh, just because of stuff like that. Just because of the burden of, like, we know about certain things. I don't know. It's mean, and it's not that complex. I, I, they, they just, they tried it, and they uh, they like to steal feelings, and it doesn't seem like all that big of a secret. I mean, enough people understand, like, the clubs that are uh, being sneaky about it, and if you could just please cease and desist, because in the long run, much like I tell Putin with this damn invasion of Ukraine... It's not going to work out well. It, it cannot. And it, by, by same logic. But no, just not great. Listen, you're not, we're not great. All right. God is great. We are not. All right. If you're into that sort of thing. If you're not, and my saying, God bless you, offends you, you're deeply offended. Well, you're allowed to be, but you can't ban my right or like fire me if I say God bless you. Or even if I say ladies and gentlemen. Or if I don't say what you what you want or whatever, because I don't know what's right. People, us people, you want to demote women to people with vaginas? That's the proper technical term the woke left has come up with on Survivor? Are you kidding me? So you can't say women, you can't say she, you can't say hey guys because it's a gender neutral term describing females and males biologically and how they identify on the show all as just guys. You can't even say, like, hey, people, I guess. But women now are people with vaginas? You know, to not denigrate them for being, like, women with vaginas or whatever. You know, I mean, you have, you have to be kidding me. So that is a little too scientific and a little too personal and a little too... You're just really so great, aren't you? With the straight face and, like, you don't notice how that might be a little, like, condescending. To call people like the actual proper thing that everybody agrees all the time. Like no one agrees to that. We don't call women people with vaginas. Nor would you call a girl that. Nor would you ever open your trap about it. But yet you, I don't know. With the education at the age of like first and say we don't want that either. That's not extreme. What's extreme is disagreeing with that in public school system. Anywhere in America or any, I mean for God's sakes. Don't, we we not win it. We're supposed to protect children from, from such things, honestly. So to that end, we don't want to raise them to be like mean for the sake of mean to like certain, wait a minute, stop with that. 
Let's please all stop. Let's come to our senses, all right? If there is, uh, surely when there is injustice, like, there's, there's only, there, there's more than one way to try to attack it, but in the end, like, meeting them head on in the field of battle with the same gear and fighting the, like, clan and shot is not the way. Only love and only light can do that. And if you keep propagating that every last person of a different background is uh, inherently this, any attribute, you're already, like, making them think along those lines of, of judging someone based on things they cannot possibly control. And that's, that's actually overtly mean. You don't want to do that let alone with a straight face. Because, wait a minute, we have to start to work together. You have to show the opposite. But in order to really normalize and like, you know, there's plenty of blame on both sides up, plenty of despicable Jesse Smollett type things and also on the right type things that like to try and fuel a fire that people don't notice they're trying to fuel while like all the money and all the stuff, and you see now all these woke businesses with their pants down, I guess we got to back out of like doing business with Russia for a minute. Why is Russia in the talks with Iran about like Iran deal with like oil, given that if we pull out of like, wait a minute, what is certain things are just, I get way of the world to a certain extent, but only, I mean, uh, I don't know. It seems it was not the far left in exclusion and exclusively that Biden was trying to virtue signal to with that pipeline on day one of his administration. Because I think after he greenlit Putin's but shot down our own, uh, and that was mostly to take oil from Canada, pump it down, and then sell most of it. It wasn't actually oil for us that was going to go through that keystone. So again, like, whatever it is, at this point, I think old alliances... They try to keep some alive, they sneak, they invite you to their like secret group seminars and they're so great and none of them think wisely or responsibly. If they could just understand to be a little honest and not completely disingenuous when it comes to certain things, uh, you know, I don't know. It just seems tragic what you intentionally, like, what gives you joy, certain people in the world, uh, let alone our country. And with the, like, sneaking and the, you're thrilled that, like, that's why they're mad at each other now. I did that. I mean, like, they're, they are, like, they're nuts. I don't know. You should please stop doing that. You should please, like, know all about it already. Because that's the way of uh, the truth does set people free and you can lead a horse to water but you cannot make the said animal drink or even a person when it comes to but like you know in the long run it's bad for all of us and particularly in this country I mean you're wasting everybody's time with certain things here and like if you could please like stand up to like the big tech bully and the this bully and then that bully and particularly the bribery bully. Uh, why can't you understand that if you all just agree to like do certain things in the public with public scrutiny and in light and inclusive like with all, wait a minute, like this is what we're doing now. Here's our LLC, it's legal. And then try to like help instead of, wait a minute, I seem to understand, like, people, they get in bed with, like, easy, quick, keep your trap shut money one way or another, all right? Then, so, I don't care. It's not just a jealousy. You didn't invite me. Wait a minute. I, wait a minute. That's, that's definitely not it. But I'm happy to try to talk you down or, like, point out, you know. I mean, it's, a, it's like a cult. At this point, it's entrapment. You don't need to live this way. You can't incarcerate the nation on mass for like doing such a thing, particularly if you did the right thing and chose wisely. All right. But you want to withhold like just in per perpetuity, like dangle, like maybe one day, I don't know, in art and in this and in that. 
And it just seems like uh, that's really convenient, you know? But, like, I don't know. We we really, like, do want to try to, like, if we want to be, it's like I said to Putin, when China's not looking at it right, and obviously Russia is not looking at it right. If America's not looking at it right, which we're definitely right now, wait a minute, we're run of the people, by the people, for the people. It's just citizens bound to the Constitution, bound by law. That's what keeps us safe. When you sacrifice that and the cops will now agree, like we can't talk about it, wait, wait a minute, whatever it is. Oh, no, 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 no. That's, we don't want anything to do with that. Please. Never again. Let's just come to our senses and then you can be like, then you do get like blessings of like people of good faith. People who do show them how it's done. People who don't say we have free speech, but then on the way, we know we don't. Literally, there are plenty of people who think like that. And they really need to stop themselves before, I don't know, eventually one day it's like if you don't, uh, it's like a bottle of soda being like shaken up. And if you don't go for yourself and just really like, you know, use a little wisdom here, then eventually it does go kablooey and it's stupid. And everybody's like mad about it. And there's pain here. And while all the ways, while you're like content to sneak and break bad and think you're cool or this or that, and all the ways you're going to use this doctrine for this or that scheme while paying you. Know, I don't know. I, please, we, you need to not do that. All right. Uh, and we do, you do have to reform these social media platforms because they're, none of them are all right. All right. That's not, I mean, take your pick. Are you CNN with who's going to, or, or are you like, you need an entertainment license just to like, you know, because you can't be, what, what the hell is it? It's not like a phone company where you just like arbitrarily, I mean, these people are mean. Like, I seem to notice. I don't know. And for woke, you're not that upright. Wait a minute, woke? You're not sensitive to anything. It's only when like, hooray for your side. All the ways you'll understand anybody, even somebody where it might be a little like, I don't know. Other times, no pity. Could go on and on with examples of the same. Eh, why bother? I just hope both sides of the aisle come to their senses because, like I said, the real sneaks don't care anything about that. Only in Muggleville because you really want to keep them. You know, I think with the vote, right, maybe we can get more votes. Then we can do the stuff, right? Right, liberal? Right, repub? All right. Well, signing off. Hey, where's R2? Oh, wait a minute. Where is he? Bang, bang. Bang. <laughs> hey, look, I fixed my tooth. I did. Round one of dentistry complete. I got to go for more. It's very, very important. It's very exciting. Anyway, I hope you have a very nice week. Whoever you are, if you watch this. And uh, Portman, you have a very nice week. You and yours. I even I'll try to have... Something of a nice week. All right, then. Bye-bye. Uh, Goodbye. Bing. Stop. Don't, don't do that.